Now, we got some more information on this Lil Lotus situation, and uh, it's not good, man. Wish things could have ended up differently for this man. And just the other day, he was alive and breathing, and now he's gone, and everyone close to him is grieving. There's a couple things to bring up here, though, so uh, yeah. Let's talk about her. Now, the other day, we of course got the very much unfortunate news that Dallas rapper Lil Loaded had passed away at the age of 20. At the time of the news breaking, we didn't really know what exactly happened. Although that's the case, there was one rumor floating around, and it was regarding Loaded apparently killing himself as a result of his girlfriend cheating on him. We found this out through an Instagram story that a close friend of Lil Loaded posted, where he said, My nigga killed himself because of his girl. I hate this girl so much. I'm so messed up, bro. That nigga told me in the studio that somebody F his girl. He'll kill him. That nigga ended this behind his girl. He meant that shit. Brother, I love you. This theory was not only backed up by Lil Loda's friend after his passing, but Lil Loda himself posted an Instagram story where he was talking about how he was ready to enter heaven. Dear Most High, please forgive me for my shortcomings and all the times I've fell short of make you proud, and I'm being appreciative of the blessings that have been put in my life. Sometimes the lines are blurred between being solid and being heartless. I want to thank you for how far I've come and the people you put in my life to keep me grounded and humble through everything. And I love every single one of those people that are generally for me. I ask for entrance into your kingdom through all my mistakes. I know you love all your children and I'm ready for my heart and soul to join you. According to a police report that's been obtained by multiple media outlets, Lil Lotus' mother was the one who found her son deceased inside of his home. She found him inside his home with a gun nearby. According to a police report obtained by XXL on Thursday, June 3rd, Lil Lotus' mother is the person who discovered her son was deceased from a gunshot wound to the head on Monday morning, May 31st, and notified police. Law enforcement in Cedar Hill, Texas, responded to a call of an attempted suicide earlier this week. Upon police's arrival at Lil Lotus' home, officers saw his mother on a porch crying. They later found the 20-year-old rapper dead inside the home with a gun nearby. Police additionally revealed that the black baby, Reimer's mother, found Lil Lotus' in the second floor hallway of the home. The night before, the mom said he was upset and crying over the love he felt for his ex-girlfriend. So as you could hear, it looks like Lil Loda's mother gave a statement to the cops and she stated that Loaded was upset over the breakup with his ex. And then the next day when she found him, well, you know what happened. This obviously validates what his friend said about the whole situation and his last Instagram story as well. There's a couple of things to bring up here and this is an important part of this video. So uh, let's go back to last year, October to be specific. On the afternoon of October 25th, 2020, officers were called to a home located near the Cedar Ridge Preserve in southwestern Dallas. This was the home of 18-year-old Khalil Walker, who was a friend of Lil Loaded. Khalil was found shot in the torso with a rifle. He was then taken to a hospital nearby, but unfortunately didn't survive. He died from his injuries at the hospital. Lil Loaded, Khalil, and a third person were outside the home when this went down. Khalil's sister, who was inside the home, heard two gunshots. When she then went outside, she saw Lil Loaded and a third person standing over her brother, Khalil, who was lying wounded in the street. After she called 911 to report the shooting, she looked at Khalil's phone and found a video of Lil Loaded shooting her brother. Lil Loaded and the third person put Khalil into the car and drove him to the hospital. Loaded then drove the person he was with to the home before he left. On November 9th, 2020, 15 days after the incident went down, Lil Loda turned himself in to the authorities. He was booked into the Dallas County Jail on a murder charge, but was then released on a $75,000 bond. Lil Loda had a court hearing scheduled for Tuesday, June 1st, 2021, but unfortunately, as we all know, died on May 31st, one day before his court hearing. While pending charges as serious as Mr. Robertson's can be exceedingly stressful, and it certainly may have contributed to this tragic outcome, I believe he was in a good place mentally with regard to the charges in our upcoming court date, Lil Lotus lawyer. As you can see, his lawyer said that he didn't see this coming, but who really did? Like the statement his mother made to the cops, he was apparently very upset, okay, crying over the love he had for his ex. Literally the next day, one day before the Khalil Walker court hearing, she discovers her son deceased from a gunshot wound to the head. Can't even imagine how that must have felt for her. I mean, seeing her baby boy lying on the floor inside his home, dead, that's the kind of sight any mother fears. I want to say something really important and I really want to emphasize it, mainly because of all the things I've seen on social media throughout these past few days in regards to this entire situation. 
situation. Lou Loda didn't take his own life purely because his girl cheated on him. Let's bring that to the surface. This man was possibly gonna go away to prison for some time as a result of the death of his friend Khalil. Whether that entire incident was actually an accident, I don't know. Very much could have been. Not here to discuss that at this moment. I think people have been overlooking the severity of this case he was up against. It presumably caused him a lot of distress and the nail in the coffin was, or should I say, could have been his girlfriend cheating on him. When people commit to taking their own life and they actually follow through with it, most times it's not the result of only one event. It's an accumulation of a lot of things going wrong for them, which obviously impacts their perception of their life and reality in general. When they reach that point at that stage, a lot of people literally feel like it's over, even though it may not be over. Which for Lil Loaded, it was far from over. This man barely got out the hood last year, so that's a given. I want to bring up something else regarding this as well. I don't personally blame his girlfriend for his death at all. What I do blame his girlfriend for though is for being a cheating piece of sh you know what I'm talking about. She belongs to the street. She played a crucial part in this man's pain and she should be held responsible for causing some of that pain. However, Lil Loaded's feelings got the best of him and I'm not only referring to the love he had for his girl, I'm talking feelings in general. The man was clearly battling with some real demons. For him to carry so much pain to the point where he couldn't bear with it, he must have been feeling some really intense deep emotions, so deep to the point where he couldn't take another second of it. Had he held on for a little longer though, I believe he'd be here with us right now. He would have overcame whatever he was feeling because time heals all. Here we have a young man who had a very thriving future in front of him, literally had the world in his palms, had so many good things going for him, but he just couldn't see that. All he could see at the moment was that gun and one outcome, which really makes me sad, man. Truly heartbreaking. I heard this very similar story from earlier this year. It involved a football slash soccer player, whatever you want to call it, named Jerome Boateng. He's a very successful athlete out of Germany. Earlier this year, he had a very public breakup with a woman by the name of Kasia Lennartz. He announced a breakup on his Instagram and then the week after, on her son's sixth birthday, she killed herself. It was a pretty big story earlier this year, mostly out in Germany though. But here we have this absolutely drop dead gorgeous young woman who could literally get any guy she wanted at the drop of a hat. Yet, this happened. And I know that there's probably way more to the story. Maybe she has some other things on her plate. I'm sure of that. These are obviously two different situations. Yes, but the outcome was the same. I mainly wanted to bring it up to draw a comparison between Kasha and Lil Loaded because Loaded, a very successful young man who had a lot of options, yet one of those options, who wasn't worthy of his time by the way because she clearly belongs to the streets, pushed him to the edge and made him do something that he unfortunately now can't come back from. I don't know exactly where we go from here. I really don't. But what I hope happens is to anyone out there who's listening to this, if you're going through something like this, please seek professional help. You don't need to fight it alone. There's resources out there for you to take advantage of and for your own future, please go do that. It doesn't make you weak. Actually, in my eyes, it makes you stronger. This is especially very important to all my guys out there, aka the 85% of my viewers, the other 15, all my females. You guys don't even comment on the video, so I'm not even sure if you really even exist. I digress. A lot of you fellas out there, man, you bottle up all your negative feelings. You don't address them. You don't talk about them. You run away from the pain by bumping Love No Thotties by Chief Keef and think it's all gonna go away, which I got some bad news for you, gang. They're not, my brother. They're just gonna keep on intensifying until you address them. Men just have a harder time opening up about things because you don't want to quote unquote act like a female, which that's very common in the black community. So we go around avoiding addressing them, put a band-aid on it, try to to distract ourselves with things like drugs. You gotta address it, man. What did I say in my last video? You gotta feel it to heal it, okay? Please get some professional help. But yeah, this little loader situation, something that should have never happened. Some decisions, like the one he made, are permanent though, and there's no going back. It's sad that Loaded never got the chance to truly get the help he so much deserved. The case of Lil Loaded though, do you have any thoughts on this? Definitely, let me know in the comment section below and uh, let's have a discussion about this.